what we're going to do is we're going to find three things. We're going to find how fast you can throw a ball in miles per hour, how high you can throw a ball in miles per hour, and from your greatest speed, your longest time, we're going to imagine you're up on the roof. We're not going on the roof, but it's about 8.2 meters high. If you were on the roof with the same speed, how long would it take to hit the ground? So we're going to find the time. So you're going to find speed, height, and time. And by the way, if you took that ball, it took two and a half seconds to go up and down. If you were on the roof going at the same speed, what would happen to the time? Probably a little longer. All right, so what we're going to do today is just get data. So I'm going to tell you what data, but this is what we're eventually going to find, the speed, max height, and the time if you are on the roof. You are given this general equation. Now, this isn't a line. It's a quadratic because you see a t squared in here. And what we'll do is you're going to measure three times, each of you, times and uh, this will be trial one, trial one, trial two, trial three. And this will be in seconds. You're going to use your iPad or your phone for a stopwatch. Let's go to the nearest hundredth of a second. Because your, your uh, stopwatches can do that. And then you're going to need one more piece of information, and it's called the release height in meters. And how you're going to do that is so simple. I'm going to uh, go with meter sticks, and you're going to come, when you're done throwing it, come to the door, and I'll, you're going to pose as you would throw it like this, and then I'll just measure that height to the ground in meters. So these are three. You're going to circle the one that was the most. Why would I circle the one that's the most? The highest time. Why would I circle the one with the highest time? Well, why would I do that? Hmm. Like if this were 1.3, this were 2.5, this were 1.7, why would I circle the... Um, 2.5, why would I circle that one? Yeah. That's the fastest speed, is the, and the highest will be the one with the longest time. By the way, three and a half seconds is really tough to get. If you can do that and beyond, you're throwing it pretty fast. All right, so uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go outside with a partner. They're going to measure time for you. You're going to measure time for them. Each person does three and writes it down. Each person will get a release height, and we'll do that. When we go outside, and I look up here, here's what we'll do with the tennis ball. You're going to go out in the parking lot, and you're going to throw it straight up, and you're not going to throw it at an angle. Try not to, because I don't want you hitting the cars, or hitting, ending up on the roof, or hitting anybody else. You're going to throw it up as straight up as you possibly can. When you go outside, you're not going to throw it at the walls. You're not going to bounce it in the hallway, throw it at each other. You're just going to take it off and you're going to toss it up and down. Bring your iPad with you, uh, a coat if you have one, and uh, relish this beautiful day. We're going to come back to it and then we'll talk about it a little bit. But you get those measurements. So we went out and we measured, we're back now, and with the heights, we circled the one that was the greatest height, everybody has their eye height, in meters. And then, now, let's talk about this formula a little bit. The h of t equals a t squared plus b t plus c. I'm going to teach you something that's going to be super helpful. It will make everything make sense. What are the units for h of t? Or what is h of t? It's the what? It's, it starts with an h. And it has a t in it. Height, right? <laughs> it's, the height. it's the height at any time t. Okay. So what are the units for height? Meters. Good. 
So, A I gave you is acceleration due to gravity. The acceleration due to gravity is meters per second squared. Now, if you multiply meters per second squared times time, what are the units for time? Seconds. And if it's squared, it's seconds squared. What happens to the second squared? Second squared divided by second squared. What happens to those? They cancel out leaving me meters equal to meters, okay? Now, T is time of seconds. What do you think B represents? That's the original speed, speed of your throw. And what are the units for speed? Meters per second. Well, what happens to seconds over seconds this time? It cancels out, and you get meters again. And then what's C? The original height, or the release height, what are the units for that? Meters. Is it a surprise that you, to find meters, you have to have meters plus meters plus meters? Is that a surprise? No. And that's why this formula looks so weird with the t squared, is you've got to cancel out the second squared in meters per second squared. That's why there's a t here. You've got to cancel out the seconds in meters per second. You can get those different dimensions to cancel out and allow you to add meters plus meters plus meters. That is so helpful to me when we're making the transition from looking at formulas and making it make sense, is that these units have to be meters. What if one of these were meters per second? Can you add meters per second in meters? It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make sense that you can add meters, meters, and meters. So that's why the formula is the way it is so that those units will work out. So tomorrow what we're going to do is we're, you're going to start figuring out what the original speed, max height, and the time if you were up on the, up on the uh, roof. <laughs>